Hi, in this video, we'll learn how to model a simple pure exchange economy. Consider the following environment. Suppose there are just two goods, two individuals. Individual 1's utility function is given by U1. Individual 2's utility function is given by U2. Let us suppose that the endowment of individual 1 is omega 1 x units of x and omega 1 y units of y. So what does that mean? That simply means that individual 1 has omega 1 x units of x and omega 1 y units of y. Similarly, endowment of individual 2 is omega 2 x omega 2 y. Now the only economy activity that takes place in this economy is exchange. That is, the individuals can only trade x and y amongst each other and there is no production. Such an exchange will result in an allocation. Now what is an allocation? An allocation is a specification of how much amount of commodity x and y are consumed by individual 1 and 2. We would call an allocation a feasible allocation if the sum of the amount of x consumed by the individuals in the given allocation equals the total endowment of x in the economy and same must also hold for y. For example, if one's endowment is omega 1x, omega 1y which is equal to let's say 4, 4 so basically individual 1 has 4 units of x and 4 units of y and individual 2's endowment is 6 units of x and 4 units of y then the total amount of x in this economy is 10 and the total amount of y in this economy is 8. So what are the feasible allocations? The feasible allocations are for example allocation A in which individual 1 consumes 10 units of x and individual 2 consumes 8 units of y. So you can clearly see that 10 plus 0 is 10 and 0 plus 8 is 8. That is why it is feasible. Allocation B. Okay, That's another example of a feasible allocation. In this allocation, individual 1 consumes 2 units of x, 8 units of y. And individual 2 consumes 8 units of x and 0 units of y. Another example is allocation C. You can check clearly that the total amount of x consumed in allocation C is 10 and the total amount of y consumed by the two individuals in allocation C is also equal to the total endowment of y available in the economy which is 8. So allocation C is also feasible. In general, we can write the set of all feasible allocations in this way. It is all those x1, y1, x2, y2 such that x1 plus x2 is equal to omega 1x plus omega 2x and y1 plus y2 is equal to omega 1y plus omega 2y. In the next video, we'll learn how to graphically represent the set of all feasible allocations. We'll use a technique proposed by Edgeworth to do so. See you in the next video.